problem here we're finding let's start by fixing this problem here we're finding simplicity in life is stuck to the top now you could a hundred percent do this with a margin top somewhere here just to push things down but i like trying to use margin bottoms as much as possible to create space instead of mixing up margin top sometimes and margin bottom other times there's always going to be exceptions there's always times where maybe you won't do that but i think this makes the most sense because you don't know if you're always gonna have a title as your very first thing maybe you have something else that's actually coming up here as the very first thing so I think the best course of action is actually to put a margin bottom on this rather than having a margin top on this, because again, maybe another page, the, the first thing will be an image or to be something other than your, your title here. I think it's just a bit more robust doing that. So this doesn't even have to go anywhere. We can just do this on our nav, 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 uh, header. I think we have a header there. If we do, so we can just come on here and add a margin bottom of, I'll do 3M to give us a very generous space because um, so the spacing here and here looks more or less equal. I think it just looks nice and balanced. If you'd want that to be two, I wouldn't argue with you. I think you could pull that off as well. So that fixes that. But the more important thing for this video is while our recent articles are looking good at small screen sizes, when we get to big screen sizes, we want this to become a two column layout uh, that just looks quite a bit different. So let's go and do that. We'll just go all the way down to the bottom because I'm in my article section and I want to create a media query. So I'm going to ask you to create your media query first on here and actually see if you can remember how to turn it from a one column into a two column all on your own. I'm going to use the same breakpoint that I used for my navigation here because I want everything changing at the same time. I think it's a bit more consistent when you do that way um, instead of just having all these random different numbers throughout. Of course, that does depend on the layout. You saw in the last video, I used a different number for my breakpoint. But in general, I try and stick with the same breakpoints just for consistency and it makes my life a little easier too. Did you get it to work? I hope you did. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and create my media query. So it's an at media. I want my parentheses and then my curly braces. I'm going to come back up into here and do my min width 675. And now we can come down here and add in what we want. Now, don't do the mistake where we just start writing stuff, obviously. I've done that a million times, but we have to choose the selector we want first. So the selector I want for now is article recent. Now we've already said that article recent is display flex. So we don't have to declare it again. If you did that, where you put display flex here, it's fine. It's not going to do anything. It doesn't cause any problems. But since we already have declared it here as the general rule, we don't have to redeclare it again. Once we're inside of our media query here, all I want to do is redefine my flex direction. So I can do my flex direction and it is column. I'm going to switch that over to a row. And right away, we should see now we have two rows of content in here. Now we can come on to my article recent main, and we're going to want to do a little bit of work on that. And my article recent secondary and do a little bit of work on that one as well. So I want the secondary one to actually be pretty small. So I'm going to give this one a width of about 25%. If I go and look though, it's going to be tiny, 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 tiny. And this is Flexbox trying to be smart about things because it knows this one should be 100%. Why is that 100% though? Think about it. Why is this one trying to be 100%? It's trying to be 100% because we never gave it a default width. And by default, any block level element will be set to 100%. So 100 and 125, it can't fit in this area. So it's doing its best to go, okay, well, this one's allowed to be smaller. So I'm shrinking it way down. It's sort of how Flexbox thinks. We're going to get more into actually what's happening with this uh, a little bit later on. But for now, what I'm just going to do is come on here and say, this one has a width of 70%. And if we go and look, the only problem is we have all this leftover space right here. I don't want leftover space here. I want that leftover space to be in between the two of them. How can we do that? Do you remember? Go ahead and do it if you do. So to put the space between them instead of all the way on the right, I can come on here and do a justify content space between. By doing that, now I get the gap coming here instead. You might say it's not reaching the end here, but it's because the lines are breaking. If I have a long word that can't fit here, it's just going to go down to that side. So it really is making it all the way out to the edge. It just really depends on um, the, the text that you have in there and the size of the screen that you have it at. Sometimes it'll look like it's closer and other times it might look. And again, it's just based on where the words are breaking. I actually don't like that breakdown of stuff so much. So I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. I'm going to push you up to 30. And I think I'll bring this one down to like a 68 or 67 um, because I think that space can be a little bit tighter like that. 
So cool. That's looking pretty good. We have my two columns that are working. And when we get to the small screen sizes, everything is stacking and our order is looking fine there. And our order is looking fine here. So everything is fantastic, except for one thing. And the one thing that's not fantastic is the order here is not good. Uh, if we come and take a look, when we're at big screens, we want our image all the way at the top. And then we want to have our info here. Then we want to have the title. And that's just not what we have going on here because I put it all in the wrong order when I did the markup. So what I want you to do is we can work inside of this media query. I want you to play around and get that to work on large screens to be in the right order for everything. And of course, once you've done that, I'll go ahead and look at how we can do it, but it's all things we already know how to do. So go ahead and tackle that. So I hope you found it. If you didn't, don't worry too much about it because uh, I was trying to trick you a little bit with this one and make you think a little bit. So if we come and look at my markup, we have the featured article here. My featured article has everything we need in it, but we want to change the order of these. And so you did article title just for fun. If I came down to here and I say article title order 99, that should push it all the way to the end. It should become the last thing everywhere. But nothing happens. It's not actually changing. So if you were playing around with the order of things and you were like, why, why isn't it changing? It's, it's normal. The reason it's not changing is we can't use order unless we have display flex on something already. So what I need to do is article featured display flex. But of course, when I do that, it just causes chaos because now everything is becoming a column. I even got some size. Oh, it's just a mess. So uh, I want you to fix that now. And once you've done that, if you weren't able to get the order working, go and put the order on it. And we'll take a look at the rest of it together in a second. All right, so fix the first thing was the flex direction. We want that to be a, not a row, a column. And that should at least fix the craziness that was going on before. And everything sort of falls back to how it was, more or less. And then what we can do, is my article image has an order of negative one. Now, I'm actually going to make this a negative two because I also want to give my article info an order of negative one to pull it up to in between those two. Because if I don't include that, it's first going to be my image, then it's my title, then it's this, and I want this to be on top there. Whoops, still on my console. So I can have that negative one on there. So first I have my image, then I have this, then I have my title, and then I can get into the rest of it. And it's starting to look pretty good. I'm pretty happy overall with how this is starting to come together. I think it's looking really, 